Hey there you guys, it's only me. I'm just bringing you another card painting for Yu-Gi-Oh this week and this time around I've gone for something pretty simple actually and it's very recent and it's Skate Ghost. Primarily because, well actually I just kind of like the card. You know, there's no real reason behind it, I just think it's a really cool card. You know, I kind of like the way that the, the actual monsters on the Skate Ghosts have like that kind of vacant, creepy look like Esper from Pokemon. Like, you're cute but I'm gonna kill you. I love it. Basically, for me, this is kind of like an exercise in colour matching and creating gradients from one colour to another, creating the kind of the cloudy background that you can see on the card. Due to not having to paint anything onto the skate ghosts themselves, this is actually a pretty fast job, provided you know how to blend. I actually noticed as I had nearly finished this card that I'd started leaving the level stars out again, which was something that a few months ago I said, oh, I don't want to do that anymore because it's too difficult to kind of make sure they're absolutely pristine perfect and I've started doing it again just through habit and I'm not sure whether I actually prefer having them there or having them taken away. So if you think that they're better left in or left out then leave a comment in the comments just below and I'll see how I feel about it as and when I go. You know, in terms of legality I don't think it makes that much difference whether they're there or not because you're still altering the card and with Yu-Gi-Oh they tend to frown upon kind of altered cards and that kind of thing so for me this is more just a kind of a display piece than actually intending on playing the card. All of the materials that I use in my card paintings are listed in the description box below, so if you're interested in making any of these cards yourselves, then you can check out the materials I use and you might be able to do this yourself. Skate Ghost in particular is actually a really nice and simple card for you guys to do, so if you wanted to try something new, then go, by, go nuts and by all means give it a try. Uh, after I'd hit the 1000 subscribers mark last week, I wanted to give back to everyone who's been so supportive over the last year or two. So I'm looking into making a giveaway that involves both this card and the last card that I painted, which was Summon Skull. So definitely keep an eye out for that in the future. I don't actually make these cards to try and sell them, even though I've had quite a few people ask me about buying them and, you know, kind of purchasing them from me so they can have them themselves, which is great. But I do, I do it because it's something that I enjoy and it's something that I really like to do and it's something that I want to entertain people with and show people how to do it themselves. So it allows me to keep up with practicing lots of different methods of painting as an artist and allows me to connect with players for these games all over the world. And that's why I really like doing it. So while I have sold some of my cards in the past, for the time being I think I'd rather just use them as a way of you know, making progress with the channel and growing as an artist rather than trying to make money out of it. I'm going to leave you with the rest of this painting now, so if you like what you see here then leave a like on the video itself, leave any comments if you have any questions about any of my paintings or myself or anything that you want to know, and do subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more videos about paintings, more card games, video games and all sorts of different things and geeky goodness. So I'm going to love you and leave you now, so bye for now and thank you for watching.